What are your thoughts on, I guess, David Icke's uh, work within the reptilians? And I guess give us your own. And could they be behind some of the agendas or could they be behind some of the evil and the wars and rumors of wars and famine over the past several thousand years? Well, first of all, I, I was in business with David Icke. I brought David Icke to America back in 1992, I think it was, 91 or 92. Uh, I heard about David Icke, and I brought him to America, and I helped promote him and spent a lot of uh, company money on promoting him and getting him on television and radio and getting him out there. So I was kind of like in business with David, David Icke many years ago. But I said quite a few years ago in public at a big conference that David and I were on the stage together, and, I, and he was talking about the reptilian uh, subject. I said to the audience, I am totally convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are reptilians, but not because David Icke brought the subject up. I knew about this subject long before I ever heard of David Icke, and I am totally convinced that he is right. There is something that's happening on this earth that because we are reptilians, so we have reptilian brains, we, we were born in our water. Uh, the scientists and doctors will tell you that we are reptilian in our complex of the way we're made up as humans. Do, and, you, uh, do you think the royal families that, that he discusses and other researchers also, do you think they have more of this reptilian blood and this reptilian lineage with it, within their <laughs> bloodlines? Uh yeah, I tend to believe that. I tend to believe that. But when I'm giving you my opinion, it's just a subjective opinion. Exactly. Y'all heard that, fellas. <clears throat> right. We are, of course, we're spent some truths in there, too, but some things you can't necessarily uh, yeah. put down in black and I white. I cannot swear to. Yes. But we're having I'll a fun have... conversation. Okay, but keep this in mind. When a federal judge issues... Uh, an edict. He issues a last word in a case. The federal judge, we say he has rendered an opinion. But an understanding, the judge has rendered an opinion that's not off the top of his head, what he would happen to be thinking about at the time. No, when a judge renders an opinion, it's based on all that he has studied to become a judge, all the law that he has studied. And so when he's presented with a very difficult question about a case, he is supposed to be able to go back to the history back in the 50s. What did the court say? What did the Supreme Court say about this, this subject? What did they say back in the 1870s? What did they say back in the 1776 on this subject? And so that's part of what you need to know as a judge. What has the courts of America said? Or in Europe, what have the courts said about this subject? Well, based on all of that study over the years, uh, my opinion is, no, the opinion of the law is. And so when I say I'm giving you my opinion, but it's not out the top of my head, it's because I have sat and talked for hours with with uh, with Zachariah Sitchin and, uh, and Lloyd Pye and people I've traveled around the world with. These people are experts, experts. And everybody knew it. Well, I happened by chance somehow to be in their company and could travel with them and talk with them and learn privately from them. So based on my all that I have heard the experts say, there is no doubt in my mind that these reptilians do exist and they are in government and they are the powers behind government. And then there, if you go, and I've, I copied something off of the web, a video off of the web, and I'm thank God I did, because it's very hard to find, and I don't even know if it's on the web anymore, because I talked about it in public on some big shows, and all of a sudden it's not on the web anymore. That happens. I'll talk about something that I saw and go on the web to look for it, and then you find out, no, it's gone. They pulled it off. Well, I have a video that will absolutely shock you of Prince Charles when he was being interviewed on six, 60 Minutes. But they sent the interviewer to England, and it was, on his, it was on his home territory in a big yard with the 60 Minute uh, interviewer and, and Prince Charles. And they're sitting in the gardens 
chit-chatting, and and the uh, interviewer for 60 minutes asked him something that he didn't want to talk about. Uh, uh, he wasn't happy that it was brought up. And so when they, he asked him this question, the, uh, it's, it's incredible. Uh, Prince Charles turned around and hissed like a snake. His eyes got real you know, elongated, and he hissed like a snake at this guy. And it wasn't just a, a quickie. No, no, he sat there and hissed at him like a snake. That was interesting, very interesting. If you go on the web today and type in, go into um, the, the, what do you call it, the TV thing, uh, YouTube, and type in humans hissing, humans hissing or people hissing, and you will find there's all kinds of interesting politicians and people, important people, and they've got little pieces, little 10 second pieces of, of some famous person turning around and answering a question they didn't want to hear and they're hissing like a snake well there's too much smoke not to be a fire why would these people instead of saying something like I'm not interested in a subject or drop it no they hiss like a snake so there's got to be a reason why some people who are important in this world when they hear things they don't want to hear, they hiss like a snake. So I'm totally convinced that I think that's what's really going on. We have reptilians running this planet. But there was somebody else was here before them uh, that created us. Come, let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Okay, so they ended up making us. But now we have a new gang pulling into town. You know, now we got a new biker gang pulling into town, the, the reptilians. And they are smarter than we are collectively. They know more than we do. They found us. We didn't find them. And so they've come in now, and our creators, the, the gods who created us, have gone out there, but they said they would come back. Well, that's what Jesus said. I will return with my angels. I want to come back. There's going to be a great war. Well, yeah. If, the, if, a, if there was a group of angels came here and they created us in their image and likeness and gave us our earth and then they left, but they promised they would come back. Well, after they left, others came here. They're reptilians from another place in the universe. And they saw us. We're just innocent, beautiful creatures here that they can rape, and plunder, and play with and, and organize and give us religions. They give us philosophies. They give us guns. They give us how to go to war, how to create this and create that. 